name is Lawrence Matolo from Machakos Technical Training Institute. I am here with this project uh, titled Mount Papa Seed Based Absorber. It's about uh, seeds from a local weed that uh, absorb a lot of water within a short time that they have the capacity to absorb up to 20 times their weight of water in 30 minutes. And uh, as such, I, I, I have used the, the seeds to make these uh, sanitary tiles, towel, as a, I've used the seed as a secondary absorber. I'm also using the seed to draw these diagrams for the visually impaired. Uh, because uh, the normal method for drawing diagrams for the visually impaired is uh, quite uh, cumbersome, takes a lot of time. Like this diagram took me 128 minutes, that is 2 hours 8 minutes. And this, uh, this, this, this method drawn, this diagram drawn using the new method is, uh, took me only 28 minutes. So I'm using the, the C to draw diagrams uh, 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 for the visually impaired. That's by making the drawing process uh, easier and availing materials for the visually impaired. The third use of the seed is uh, planting maize in nurseries. I'm uh, establishing maize nurser nurseries three weeks before rains and then transferring the maize after the rains set. In this case, the seeds are binding the soil, as you'll see here. They are binding the soil such that during transplant, the, the roots are intact and there isn't much uh, transplant shock. Our second product is uh, this machine for sieving and uh, grading sand and it uses the water bottling uh, model whereby 20 liters of water from the tap is five shillings but once it is filtered nothing added but packed a half a liter is capable of buying five of the 20 liter jerry cans. That is value addition. So we are using the same machine, the same, the same model, whereby we sieve and grade sand into three grades, the, the gravel, the medium grade, and the fine sand for plastering, then put it in bags and sell. In this case, we'll be taking care of the middlemen who come into the rivers and uh, destroy the environment, and they, 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 they buy the sand at very low prices. So basically that is where we are heading. And we are hoping that in the course of time, we'll be able to create employment. And this is specifically for the dry land uh, counties. And we took this one to be a county driven development project because we, we are just about to get uh, into the county systems. And of course, we are also taking uh, into consideration that the sand comes from our farms, which are eroded and uh, as such we, 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 we lose the fertility of the soil and we, we don't get much from it but once it is uh, refined and packaged then we'll be able to, to get some value for the sand and the, the locals will be uh, in business will be working harvesting sand putting it in uh, hardware shops and let those who need sand come and buy the sand from the, the, the hardware shops rather than going with the lorries into the rivers and destroying the environment all right, so this is uh, the machine that I've just talked about. And since th we don't have power, you can, you can turn it. It has a provision for being driven by ant or any other source of energy. So you can, can turn it. And this is, this is uh, how the sand is separated. You will notice that from this end, we get uh, quite fine sand. This is the uh, medium grade for layering of bricks and this is the the course or the gravels that are normally thrown away as a, as waste we would wish the gravels to be left at the source of, of of the sand that is along the river bank so that they can be used for constructing barriers and uh, tap more sand and and water and the good thing is about this is that it, it uses dry water i mean dry sand only that the, the lorries don't have to pick the sand together with the water all the way to the construction sites yeah.